I wanted to show you guys how you guys can start your own YouTube channel and what you guys may need to do that with. Now, this, the programs I use, it's, you know, it's not the programs you have to use, it's just the ones I, I prefer to use. Um, to record my video games, I use Fraps. Um, Fraps doesn't, doesn't put too much strain on your system when you're playing the game, so it allows you to record in your screen's resolution. So the picture, the picture looks great, and not to count, uh, Fraps is not that expensive. I think it's about $37 um, from Fraps.com. So I would definitely check that out. Now they do have a demo, but it only allows you to record 30 seconds at a time of a clip. So it will not work if you're trying to do game recordings, but if you're trying to do a 30 second clip, or you want to put a bunch of 30 second clips together, then yeah, that'll work for you. But it's a great, great uh, program. And it's pretty simple. Um, you have your hotkey. So when I'm in game, you'll see these little yellow things up here in the corner. And that's your frames per second. Now when I push F9, they turn red and that means you're recording so and then say after your recording's done uh say you're done you press f9 it stops the recording you go ahead and close your game down all you do is click view here and it'll bring you up to the folder with all of your videos um let's go ahead and i'm gonna drag one into the other program i use called camtasia um one more thing about fraps you can't do screenshots um it also does record audio and Oh yeah, another thing about the, dem the demo is it does have a watermark on the screen though, like a big watermark. So it isn't really too quality of uh, footage to put on YouTube. But if you want to, you could, but I probably wouldn't recommend it. I'd probably just spend the $37 and buy Fraps because it's well worth your time. If you're wanting to be serious and get into making YouTube videos, um, especially gaming channels. Using Fraps allows you to record professional looking videos with great screen resolution. Now, when I first bought Fraps, I was trying to use Windows Live Movie Maker. And when you, I, you know, I'd look at the video after the game and I was like, wow, that looks great. I want to put that up on YouTube. But it's also like 50 gigs big because it records your screen, you know, it records your screen. So it was a huge file. Um, I think I've had one go up to like 100 gigs into in a long game that I was playing. So when you use Windows Live Movie Maker, when you import it to Windows Live Movie Maker, it actually uh, renders it and go ahead and change it to a different format. Then you edit it and then you can upload directly to YouTube from there. But it's just not very good quality that you put up on YouTube from using Windows Live Movie Maker. Not to count that you can't get full screen. Uh, 1280 by 720 is the resolutions for full screen YouTube. You guys can look like my first couple videos. Um, it has the black bars around it. Uh, those were the ones when I was using Windows Live Movie Maker. I tried to get Windows Live Movie Maker to work for me, and it does work for some people. You know, that may not be an issue for them, but that is for me. Um, I wanted full screen, better quality looking uh, videos. Uh, I want people when they put it into full screen to feel like they're in the game, like they're playing the game because it's full screen. If you have those big black bars around the side, it doesn't look as professional and it kind of looks cheesy. I'm not going to lie. So I did some research and I found a different editing program, a video editing program. And I have been using Camtasia. Uh, Camtasia is great. I mean, I used to have to, uh, each time I wanted to edit a file, I had to wait like 30 minutes for... Windows Live Movie Maker to render it, and then I'd enter it, ed edit it, and then I'd have to render again. So that whole process took a while. I can just import the media, drag it down here. You can pick the dimensions that you uh, want to edit it in, and normally you want to do it in the recording dimensions. Now, I prefer to do uh, 1152 by 720 when I'm when I'm doing the editing. So I'm going to go ahead and show you here. As you can see. Um, you can highlight this whole video here. So we'll hit Control A. Okay, so the video is highlighted. And then look, we can go into the audio. You can uh, click Enable Bruce, and Enable Noise Removal, which will remove maybe any of that static. And then you can go ahead and adjust the volume. Um, you can even do it this way, where you can take the volume down like that. You'd be surprised how loud the volume is. Um, it doesn't look that loud right there, but it kind of is. Um, it's not like anything ear blowing. You know, it doesn't really blow your eardrums or anything like that, but it the sound could be a little bit more crisper. And this 
Camtasia allows you to adjust that. Then you can do fade outs. So say at the end of my video, you know, be like, hey, bye, Thomas McCoy. Actually, that was a bad impersonation. So it does allow you to do fade outs. So say you want to edit out a piece of this. Say, okay, um, you can see this where there's no sound talking. So that was probably a piece of the video. I, uh, I wasn't talking it because it was loading. So you just go ahead and drag it. See the green cell here. Do it one more time. If you want to put it back together. So this is where it's playing at. So you see where it's playing. So you want to take it back to that. And this green bar will stay here. You drag the red bar to the place where you want to cut it out to. Then you just hit cut. Fade. And go ahead and look at this nice professional transition it looks like. And uh, let's call him Sata. All right. Um, See, uh, it was a very subtle transition. It doesn't jump around. The audio stays good. It doesn't doesn't make it look sloppy at all. So I, I really love Camtasia for that. It, it really makes for simple, easy editing. And then um, not to count that being able to render your files is just as simple. Um, say I'm done with this file. All I do do is go up here to produce and share and you have some preset ones already here you can load directly to YouTube um, I prefer not to do that I prefer to render it um, and with a custom setting I called it full screen YouTube and I'll go ahead and show you guys that here in a second but uh, producing it directly to YouTube may not get the best quality that you want and it won't be full screen so let me go ahead and show you uh, my my presets I have here uh, I named it full screen YouTube so let's go ahead and edit it uh, you always want to pick Windows Media Player. Now, you can pick QuickTime, um, but you will have to download the QuickTime, and the file may be a little bit larger, but it may be a little bit better quality. Um, but they're still both going to be 720p if you have a QuickTime player, and you want to, and you can adjust the settings a little bit more in QuickTime, but I normally just use Windows Media Video. It brings for great quality, and it's full screen, and it's a lot simpler than going through the task of uh, using the QuickTime. So let's go ahead and hit Next. Uh, just go ahead and do the recommended settings here. It's uh, nothing to the recommend settings are just fine. It'll get it'll go for uh, best quality and file size. And I always do custom size right here. And you want to do 1280 by 720 if you want to have full screen YouTube videos. That is the resolution it needs to be. You hit next, and then also allows you to do a watermark. Um, that is my watermark I have, and also my avatar for my YouTube picture. So all you do is hit options. You import the picture. And then you can change where you want it to be. You can change the image scale. You can change how, how invisible or how much more color you want it. Or you can just physically move it yourself wherever you want it to go. So pretty cool. I really enjoy that aspect of it, how it puts that nice professional watermark on it. So that is all you need to know as far as rendering your video. Um, so all we would do is I would go to full full screen YouTube, hit next, uh, make sure you have it into a folder, folder that you want it to go in and click finish. And the video will render. You can't use Camtasia while it's rendering, it has to render the video, and then you Camtasia will come back up and you can continue to edit more videos. Now I want to go ahead and show you guys uh, my channel. This is my channel here. I have been working on it. Um, I'm pretty new still, but I wanted to go ahead and get one of these videos up because it's not as hard as you think to start your own YouTube channel and make and have it look halfway professional. Now, the microphone I'm using right now probably isn't the best microphone, but I actually just ordered um, a nice blue Yeti microphone, and I'm going to go ahead and start doing up in the corner uh, gameplay so you guys can see me while I'm playing games. I just ordered myself a nice HD camera. Uh, it was 720, but I'm not too worried about quality of the video. It's going to be a little picture up there unless I start doing, you know other videos where you guys are going to see my face fully and my body and stuff. Um, that sounded kind of wrong, but I, I mean, unless you guys want to see my body. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but as you can see, my video, um, I'm still pretty new. I only got 24 subscribers. So if you guys like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try and do all different kinds of videos. Uh, right now, I've been focusing mostly on Total Wars, and I've done a Mountain Blade one. Now, I am going to start doing other games. I'm preparing myself for Rome 2, though. I'm very excited for Rome 2. You know, I've always been a Total War fan and a Total War player, so I love doing commentaries on these videos, and I try and be as helpful and give as much tips as I can for you guys, but 
you know, I'm not an amazing player. I just enjoy doing this, and I enjoy sharing my thoughts with you guys and what's going through my head when I'm playing. If you guys ever got any suggestions as far as, like, games you want me to play, or say um, you got this really sweet game that you're playing and you got this really awesome replay, and you don't want to go through all this hassle of, you know, putting it all up on YouTube and stuff and buying all this equipment, just send me a message on YouTube, and I will take a look at it. We'll go to a file share website. You'll send me your replay, and I'll take a look at it, and I will do a commentary and feature it on my channel for you. Um, I'm more than happy to do that. I... I I insist that you guys let me do that for you. I really want to become uh, more more into what you guys want. I want to hear your guys' opinions and what you guys think I should do. Now, I know everybody's opinions aren't nice, but that's okay. Anytime you put yourself out into the open like this, into the public, you're gonna get some critic you're gonna get some criticism, and you just gotta kind of learn to deal with that. Try and look at the good past the bad. Um, you know, these people that are probably giving you criticism, if they're being nasty and just straight rude, they're probably jealous. Um, now, if they're giving you, like, good, you know, good feedback, not being mean, being in a professional manner, then yes, that's the feedback I want. I want to know what you guys think. So, I, I hope this video was helpful for you guys, um, with how to use Fraps and Camtasia. Um, I know I, I didn't get into it too, too much, but... This should be more than enough for you guys to be able to start your channels. And I will say, as far as Camtasia goes, it's an expensive program. And they do allow you to do a 30-day free trial. And you get full access to it. And you guys can try it out for 30 days. And then, um, I believe it's around about $300 to purchase it. But if you are, like, a college student, um, you can get a college student price. Now, I'm not sure that price, and I'm not sure how all that works, but I think that's pretty cool. Um, and I am a college student myself, so when my 30 days up, I know I'm getting the college version of this. Camtasia is great, simple, and professional, and that's what I was going for. And Fraps makes for good-looking videos. Audio pretty good. Um, some people prefer to use Auticity. Um, Auticity is good. I'll, I'll go ahead and put the links for Fraps, um, Camtasia, and, and Auticity down. Uh, down in the um, info of this video but I, I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and make sure you let me know what you think and I will see you all later thanks bye